London police have spent the weekend breaking up race riots as drunk football hooligans took on Black Lives Matter protesters. The far-right thugs initially planned to protect statues from vandalism, but as Europe correspondent Lloyd Burr reports, it quickly escalated into violent clashes between the two groups. These are angry Black Lives Matter protesters at the gates of Waterloo Station. On the other side of the gates, members of the far-right anti-immigrant hate group known as the English Defence League, or EDL. Riot police had to scramble to prevent an all-out brawl. Being shot at with fireworks here, while at the station's other entrance, they were targeted with smoke flares and road cones. The day started outside Parliament, where hundreds of white men gathered under the pretense of protecting what's under this grey box, a statue of Winston Churchill, which was vandalised last weekend. Some waved England's flag, others held All Lives Matter signs, while up the road at Trafalgar Square, it was Black Lives Matter, police deliberately keeping each demonstration separate to try to keep the peace. But it only worked for so long. Barricades were busted down, cones thrown on the hunt for trouble. All this chaos in the shadow of New Zealand House, the flag flying above as projectiles flew below. Police dogs deterring most, but not all. Some making it into Trafalgar Square and claiming the Nelson Monument, riling the Black Lives Matter group and prompting dozens of altercations. This one seen from the air, white men fighting black men, police trying to break it up, not afraid to use force. Not long after, a lone English Defence League member is attacked by a group from Black Lives Matter. Police scrambling to stop the violence, but not quick enough. The man left battered and bloodied on the ground and requiring the help of medics before being escorted away to a chorus of abuse. Police were dishing out injuries too. This protester thrown to the ground by an officer before being tended to by onlookers. Police have put a 5pm curfew on these protests and it's well after that now and these protests show no sign of slowing down. The only thing doing that was the traffic on Waterloo Bridge as the Black Lives Matter group marched over the Thames to Waterloo Station in hunt of their adversaries, which they would have found had the gates not held and had the police not spent another weekend trying to keep the peace in a city still gripped by a pandemic.